Okay, so we all know going to Disney World right now is pretty different with all the new health and safety protocols, but there are a few things that are completely the same and we aren't talking about the magic. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog. There are a whole lot of new planning tips you need to visit Disney World right now, but what about the things you don't need to worry about? Because they pretty much stayed the same despite 2020 being an absolutely bonkers year. From the good to the not so good, we're covering the surprising things that haven't changed at all in Disney World this year. So number one is ticket prices. Ticket prices have stayed the same since the park reopenings, which isn't too surprising seeing how we just saw a big increase before the park closures. February 2020 saw increases in regular tickets at both Disney World and Disneyland, and in 2019, we had a big increase in the price of annual passes just before Galaxy's Edge opened in Disney World. Annual pass prices have stayed the same all year this year. They usually see a price increase October 1st, but we did not see one. There weren't any price increases on food or merchandise this fall either, which usually happens. Now, you may say ticket prices staying the same is a good thing or a bad thing. Yes, we haven't seen increases, but we also haven't seen decreases. And some people are complaining that because of what is not happening in Disney World, like parades or fireworks, you should see a lower price for tickets. So let us know in the comments what you think about that. Second thing that's completely the same, drinking fountains are still operating. We thought for sure Disney wouldn't open drinking fountains, but we were proven wrong. This one is probably the most surprising as drinking fountains seem like a high touch, not too appealing thing to us right now, but I suppose CDC guidelines allow them. If they make you uncomfortable, be sure to bring your own water bottles or plan to buy some when you get thirsty. Another thing that's exactly the same and pretty nostalgic, honestly, is the movies at the resorts. Disney resorts typically have extra activities to keep you entertained during your stay, like those tie-dye t-shirt workshops, animation classes, wine tastings, fun runs. Most of those have been put on hold for the time being, though you still can do your tie-dye t-shirt workshops, but you can catch some movies. Free movies under the stars are still happening on those big inflatable screens at the resorts. Masks are required around the resort in any public areas, but this is generally a safely socially distanced activity. Check your resort's activities guide or ask at the front desk about when movies are happening and which ones are showing. Next thing that hasn't changed at all in Disney World, it is still really hard to get a Rise of the Resistance boarding pass. We all kind of thought lower crowds might make it easier to grab a spot in the virtual queue for this number one attraction at Disney World, but no dice, my friends. Even when crowds were lower back in July, passes were still selling out in a matter of seconds. You're going to want to make sure you're ready to go if you want to ride this popular ride in Galaxy's Edge. Here are the ways to do it. One, get the My Disney Experience app. Two, make sure you've got your tickets linked for your entire party. Three, make accounts for everyone and link up all of your friends and family, the people you want to ride with. Four, arrive at the park early and skip the Wi-Fi. Data will work faster when so many people are trying to access the same thing at the same time on the same Wi-Fi. So you must be in the park to join a group and get on your data if you can. Five, be ready to click fast. Join a boarding group, quote unquote, will show up on the home screen of the app and will become clickable as soon as the park opens. Six, make sure everyone in your party is selected and click join again. Seven, you'll get an estimated wait time with your boarding pass. And eight, good luck. A lot of people are still having trouble getting these, so watch some how-to videos and read up on more tips over at DisneyFoodBlog.com. All right, the next thing that is still the same has not changed at all in Disney World this year are check-in times at the hotels. Even with expanded cleaning practices in place, hotel check-in time is still 3 p.m. Disney World hotel rooms are having carpets cleaned between guests and deep cleaning of high-touch items in addition to all the standard room cleaning practices in place prior to 2020. Disney Vacation Club Villa check-in time is still 4 p.m. too, just like it always has been. Now, hotel occupancy rate is down in Disney World, so there could be enough rooms that they can rotate which currently have guests in them to allow for more extensive cleaning as guests check out. Now, check-in starts at 3 p.m., so that may not mean that your room is ready right at 3, but the official check-in time has not been pushed back by Disney. All right, next thing to note at the hotels... Pools are still open. Yep, pools at the Disney Resort may have shortened hours, but this hotel amenity is still available, and it's the one place at resort public areas where masks aren't required. Obviously, it's not very safe to swim with a mask on. 
It seems to be that as soon as you enter the gated pool area, masks are not required, though Disney official language only refers to when you are seated in a lounge chair or actively swimming. But in practice, it's pretty lenient. We'll see if this leniency continues as Disney seems to be getting stricter with mask wearing in the parks. All right, this is my favorite thing that hasn't changed at all in Disney World this year. You can still get most of your favorite classic treats. We were a bit worried that supply chain shortages would mean that we couldn't get all our favorite treats, but that doesn't seem to be the case. More items are coming back every week. Those Magic Kingdom spring rolls are back, flavored popcorn at the gourmet popcorn cart. Now, we did have to wait a bit for some of our favorites. It was a few weeks before the Kakamora float came back to Aloha Isle, the Cheshire Cattail over at Cheshire Cafe. Now, Cheshire Cafe isn't open but you can find the Cheshire Cattail over at Cosmic Rays. And of course, you've got churros, Dole Whip, classic popcorn. Those have all been available since Disney Springs opened back in May. And just this past week, those stuffed pretzels came back. So the jalapeno and the cream cheese stuffed pretzels are back at Lunching Pad in Magic Kingdom. All right, those restaurants still have a 24-hour cancellation policy. So even though Disney is waiving a lot of their cancellation fees right now around hotels, they are not waiving their cancellation policies for your restaurant ADRs, so heads up if you have an advanced dining reservation. If you cancel your vacation, remember to cancel all of those dining reservations too. Disney World's restaurants still have that cancellation policy in place, so if you don't cancel your advanced dining reservation 24 hours before, you'll get to pay $10 cancellation fee per person. So if you had an ADR for four people and you don't cancel in time, that's 40 bucks out of your pocket. Those fees can add up quickly, and who wants to spend money on food they're not even eating, right? If something happens that keeps you from getting to your reservation, though, reach out to the restaurant or a cast member. They may be able to help you out and get those cancellation fees reversed if there's a legitimate reason you can't make it. All right, holiday snacks and decor. There are definitely fewer holiday celebrations than in previous years. We know this, but Disney has pulled out the stops they can for Halloween. When Magic Kingdom's Halloween and Christmas parties were canceled, we were kind of worried there may not be any extras for the holiday season, but Disney still debuted specialty treats, decor, and even some special entertainment. Magic Kingdom is decorated for Halloween right now and will break out the Christmas decorations on November 6th. And there are special character cavalcades too, so right now you can catch characters in Halloween costumes and characters from Nightmare Before Christmas as well as villains. And come November, you're going to get to see the toy soldiers from the Christmas parade and Santa, of course. Plus, the castle will get holiday projections. They're not the dream lights this year, but we'll take what we can get. Now, this is a fun one, and I definitely want you guys to know that this is still happening and hasn't changed at all this year. Celebration buttons are still available. So if you're celebrating a birthday, anniversary, or other special occasion, be sure to pick up a celebration button when you arrive at the parks. They won't be out on display like they have been in the past, but if you ask at guest services or at your hotel front desk, you can get one and show everyone that you're celebrating. All right, so this is a good one to know, especially if you need to rent a stroller, an ECV, or a locker. Those in-park rentals are still available. If you regularly rent a stroller, ECV, locker on your Disney trips, don't worry. They are still available. You still get those. All of the in-park rentals are operating just like they did before, and you can still rent strollers or ECVs from third-party companies as well, depending on the company. You may need to be around to receive the delivery of strollers or ECVs because things changed a little bit earlier this year in terms of the drop-off leniency at Disney Hotel. So you may need to actually be there to accept the delivery. Guest services or bell services may not accept that delivery for you. So be sure to check any company policies when you book your rental. It's also worth noting that ADA and DAS services are still available as well, though that's not too surprising. But I know many of you are concerned about that and we're really wondering if the DAS DAS services were still available. All right, interactive games are still happening. So if you're a fan of those free park extra activities like Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom or Wilderness Explorers over Animal Kingdom, you'll be glad to hear they're all still running. You can still pick up new cards at the Main Street Firehouse to play Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom and play the interactive game just like before. And Wilderness Explorers can still earn those sticker badges throughout Animal Kingdom. Pin trading is also still happening, though now pins get sanitized before being put out to trade. So that's changed a ton. Tiny bit. So even though things are pretty different in Disney World, it's nice to know that a few things we've come to expect haven't changed. Even if we still have to stress out a little bit about getting on Rise of the Resistance, 
At least we don't have to worry about whether or not we can get a Dole Whip or go for a swim in the hotel pool. Let me know in the comments what you guys have experienced, what you're glad has changed, and what you wish hadn't changed. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching, you guys. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we'll see you real soon.